Thank you for coming, Mr. and Mrs. Griffin. Chris seems to be struggling in his classes, and often when kids have trouble in school, it's because something is going on at home. I haven't been attracted to Lois for a year and a half. Principal Shepard, exactly how poorly is Chris doing? Well, right now he has a D-minus average. His only hope is his history final tomorrow. If he fails that, I'm afraid he'll have to repeat ninth grade. This seems more like a phone call. Oh, my God. I, I always knew Chris wasn't a great student, but I had no idea the situation was so dire. Don't worry. I'll make sure Chris passes history. You can count on me. The same way NASA counted on me during the Apollo 13 crisis. All right, I'm gonna need three coffins, mahogany with brass handles, three new daddies for the dead astronauts' kids, and a black suit for me. Sir, I think I know a way we can get them back. Is it hard? It might be. Yeah, we, we've kind of already decided we're going in this direction. All right, Chris, you got a lot riding on this history exam tomorrow. I know. Sam Cooke didn't know much about history, and he got shot in a hotel wearing nothing but a sports coat and a shoe. Yeah, that's hilarious, Chris, but we gotta buckle down. Now, I'm gonna help you study by nailing your door shut. That way, you'll have no choice but to hit the books. Oh, crap, I left my phone in there. Damn it, it's nailed shut. Dad, it looks like some girl sent you a picture of her privates. Oh, crap, Lois, I don't have the phone! Stop sending pictures! I already sent four more! Chris, put down the phone. Don't look at those. Wait a minute. That's both her hands. Who the hell is taking the pictures? Ah! All right, give me that phone and get back to work. And before you judge your mother, you did most of that damage. Oh. Hey, Chris. Just wanted to see how the studying's going. You guys, I've been at this all night, and I haven't learned a thing. There's no way I'm going to pass Mr. Harpington's history test. Oh, come on, Chris. I'm sure that's just the nerves talking. Here, I'll quiz you. Who said, we have nothing to fear but fear itself? Scooby-Doo? No. Shaggy? It's nobody on Scooby-Doo. Wow, Chris, you, uh, you really don't know history. I know. And if I fail ninth grade, I won't amount to anything. I'll end up being one of those bus drivers that parents don't completely trust. You have a beautiful child, Mrs. Roberts. <laughs> God, poor Chris. He's studying as hard as he can, but it doesn't seem to matter. Well, we gotta do something. If he doesn't pass this test, he's gonna have to... Hey. He's gonna have to repeat ninth grade. Well, there's not much we can do about it. Some people just aren't able to learn from books. Well, maybe he doesn't have to. What do you mean? Maybe there's a way to actually show Chris history with my time machine. Well, that's really nice of you, Stewie. Well, he's my brother. We've got to stick together, like that two-headed girl on TLC. Okay, who wants to taste it, and who wants to smell it? All right, we'll just tell Chris he's dreaming, because I don't want him to know about my time machine. Why not? Yeah, it's like having a pickup truck. Once people know you got one, there go your weekends. Chris, can you hear me? Huh? You're dreaming. Dreaming? Yay, no consequences! So lifelike! <sighs> All right, let's go back six minutes and try this again. Chris, you're dreaming with consequences. What? That's right. We're going to take you on a special dream trip to help you pass your history test. You are? Yes, and there's so much to learn. For example, did you know that Jesus didn't really die on the cross? So what was the cause of death? Cocaine and severe trauma to the colon. Yeah, I'm going to need to see those forms. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. Babe, I told you, it's a business trip. All right, I've got the return pad and the time machine is powering up right now. We should be leaving any moment. This thing is awesome. Stewie, can you believe Brian built this? Wait, what? Oh, hey, come on, guys. <laughs> Who built what is not a question on the history final, right? <laughs> Good point, Brian. That's why victory is always Brian's. You dick! How much of my stuff have you taken credit for? Hey, everybody, just so you know, I'm straight. <laughs>